Today, we're going to be talking about the types of meetings that you'll probably have as a software engineer. With that said, welcome back to my channel where we talk about tech, consulting, and personal development. As a software engineer, you're probably going to be spending most of your days programming or coding, but there will be times when you'll be attending and participating in meetings that are related to your work. Here are five types of meetings you can expect within the given sprint. The first one is going to be called the daily standup. A daily standup can be a 15 minute meeting where your teammates gather usually in the morning so that everyone can give an update about what they're currently doing, what they did yesterday, and are there any challenges that they're currently facing so that other team members can either help or give advice. The second meeting is going to be called a sprint grooming slash refinement meeting. In this meeting, you're gonna be talking about the scope of stories for the upcoming sprints. And for those of you who don't know what a story is, it's pretty much an agile terminology to describe the type of work that you're gonna be implementing based on the user's needs or functionality of the product. Also in this meeting, you're gonna be adding or removing details about stories to prepare for the upcoming sprint, like adding more acceptance criteria or removing acceptance criteria adding or deleting some testing requirements, things like that. The third meeting is going to be called a sprint planning meeting, usually coming after a sprint grooming slash refinement meeting. In this meeting, you and your team are going to be using a method called planning poker to give points to the stories that were defined and refined within sprint refinement meetings. These points determine the complexity of the stories based on Fibonacci numbers. A one pointer can be something that's the least difficult complexity, which means that it doesn't have a lot of acceptance criteria and can be accomplished within a shorter time frame. Whereas an eight pointer or even a 13 pointer is something that can take a whole entire sprint to do or even more than a sprint because of how challenging it is and the different moving pieces within the story. Usually the teams and projects that I've been on usually try to break down these eight pointers and 13 pointers into smaller stories because having an eight pointer within a sprint can be really challenging and overwhelming for developers. The fourth meeting is going to be called a sprint retrospective meeting and it's usually held at the end of the sprint or early on in the next sprint. In this meeting, the team will be discussing three things. What went well, what can be improved, and the action items for the next sprint. Point of this meeting is to get feedback from the rest of the team members on how the sprint actually went, and are there things that we can improve on so that we can make the project even better and more efficient. All right, the last and fifth meeting is going to be a one-on-one -on -one with your manager or mentor. This meeting will give you time with your mentor or manager of the project to raise any concerns or talk about the project or ask any questions you may be curious about regarding to the project. In addition, this time is also for you to ask and receive feedback about how you've been doing on the project so that you can keep on improving throughout the whole entire project before your next upcoming semi-annual review. I know there are other meetings out there that software engineers usually attend like design meetings, cross-functional team meetings, and even code review meetings. Each team and each project and each company does it differently, but the ones that I've mentioned are usually the core meetings that usually happen throughout the project. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, and as always, please like and subscribe below if you like the video, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.